It's umsum time. Why do kangaroos hop? Simple. I taught them how to hop. Oh, umsum. <laughs> to buy umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> It is believed that about 30 million years ago, ancestor of the kangaroo, who normally stayed in treetops, climbed down and tried moving on the ground. Hmm. Now, as this animal was used to climbing trees, its feet were very long. Hmm. As a result, it was not able to walk or run properly. But it soon discovered that hopping was much easier for it. This is why it is believed that kangaroos started hopping. Hmm. Kangaroos have large, stretchy tendons in their hind legs. These act like giant springs. They contract and generate most of the energy needed for the hop. Hmm. Also, in the hopping motion of the kangaroos, their lungs inflate and deflate. Thus, kangaroos don't need to put in any extra effort to breathe while hopping. Hmm. Topic: Thermoregulation. <laughs> Huh? Why do dogs pant? Because they want to tease us. No, they pant for thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is the process by which organisms maintain their internal body temperature. Oh, well, I use an air conditioner. Oh, you're unbelievable. When we humans feel hot, mm. the sweat glands which are present all over our body produce sweat. Sweat is about 99% water. This water takes our body heat and evaporates, helping us to lose heat. <laughs> now, dogs also have sweat glands. However, they are present under their paws. But as their paws are small and are mostly mm. used to stand and sit, sweating through them to lose heat is mm. not enough. Hence, dogs pant. During panting, they take their long tongue out and breathe heavily. Due to this, the water in their saliva evaporates, taking their body heat, thus helping in thermoregulation. <laughs> Why do dogs lick their wounds? Dogs, including animals like cats, chimpanzees, rodents, etc., don't have access to a proper medical treatment. Oh. Hence, a little licking helps to heal and clean the wound. What? But how? When dogs lick, they apply saliva on their wounds. The saliva has antiviral and antibacterial compounds like an enzyme called lysozyme. Lysozyme destroys cell walls of certain bacteria and helps kill them, thus preventing infection. The saliva <laughs> also contains a protein called tissue factor which promotes blood clotting and thus stops bleeding. Besides this, licking also removes dirt from the wound. So dogs should always lick their wounds. No, excess licking is not beneficial. This is because a dog's saliva can also contain harmful pathogens. They could aggravate the wound and make it more painful. Hence, nowadays, dogs are made to wear an Elizabethan collar to prevent them from licking. Oh. Hmm. Why do cats purr? To keep their voice melodious. Nah. According to a popular belief, people think that cats purr when they are happy and satisfying. But did you know that cats purr in other situations also? Imagine a cat falls from a height and injures her bone. In such a situation also, the cat starts purring to heal her bones. Purring? To heal the bones? But how is that possible? It is found that exposure to frequencies between 20 Hz and 50 Hz builds bone density and the frequency of a cat's purr falls within the range of 25 Hz to 150 Hz. So, it is possible that a cat who has injured her bone might be purring to build bone density and thus promote healing. Whoa, that's awesome, dude! In addition to this, cats also purr when they are stressed or feeling very hungry. Hmm. Why do cats have vertical pupils? Wait, I'll explain. A pupil is an opening in the iris which regulates the amount of light entering the eye. Now, not only cats, but also predators like crocodiles, snakes, etc. have vertical pupils. Since these animals hunt in day as well as at night, vertical pupils allow a greater control of the amount of light entering the eye. Greater than my round pupils? Yes. 
round pupils in humans can change their area by a factor of 15, while vertical pupils can change their area by a factor of 135. Hence, on a bright day, predators can turn their pupils into narrow slits, allowing less light to enter and thus preventing their eyes from getting dazzled. Hmm? Also, when there is less light or in near darkness, the vertical pupils expand to a strikingly large extent, allowing more light and thus helping the predators to see and hunt more precisely. Hmm. Why do elephants never forget? Because I take their homework every day. Nah. It is because elephants have a relatively high and impressive encephalization quotient. Higher encephalization quotient means the brain is bigger than the size expected for an animal of its size. Elephants have an EQ of about 1.88. In comparison, humans have an EQ of about 7. Rats about 0.4, while pigs about 0.27. This shows that elephants have a relatively high EQ which makes their memory strong. Moreover, an incident in Tennessee even proved this fact. Two elephants, Jenny and Shirley, were together for a few months in a circus. When they reunited after 23 years, they became excited and started bellowing, indicating that they remembered each other. Also, studies have shown that elephants remember the way to water sources even after a long period of time. How do fish breathe underwater? With the help of oxygen cylinders and masks. Nah. Fish huh? breathe underwater using the oxygen that is dissolved in water. So, do they use a mini vacuum cleaner to absorb oxygen from water? No. To absorb oxygen from water, fish use special organs called oh. gills. Gills are full of blood vessels. Also, the walls of the gills and blood vessels are very thin. Now, during breathing, mm. fish take in water through their mouth and forcefully push oh. it through their gills. When the water moves through the gills, the dissolved oxygen from the water passes through the thin walls of gills and blood vessels and enters the blood. Mm. Apart from this, the uh -huh. waste carbon dioxide present in the blood passes into the water, thus helping fish to breathe mm. underwater. Eventually, the uh -huh. carbon dioxide-rich water is given out from gills. <laughs> Topic. Osmosis. How do fish drink water? That's easy. Using a straw. No. Fish take in water usually through their mouth or gills, depending on whether they live in fresh water or salt water. Freshwater fish takes in water mainly through its gills. But why? Because it has less water and more salt concentration in its blood than the surrounding water, <laughs> Hence, due to osmosis, water from the surrounding flows through the gills into its bloodstream. Hmm. However, as the fish is continuously taking in water, it <laughs> urinates a lot and removes excess water. Huh? Saltwater fish takes in water through its mouth. Oh, really? This is because its blood has more water and less salt concentration than the salt water around it. <laughs> Hence, to maintain the balance, the fish gulps salt water through its mouth filters the water huh? for its use, and expels excess salt while urinating. Mm. How do migratory mm. birds find their way? With the help of GPS. <laughs> no. Every year, many migratory birds fly thousands of kilometers ah. to find food, to avoid extreme <laughs> weather, etc. But researchers don't oh. know how these birds find their way and travel to the same location year after year. Mm. However, an observation suggests that migratory birds can detect the Earth's magnetic field lines that appear to emerge from South Pole and merge into North Pole. When migratory birds have to travel from North to South, or <laughs> vice versa, they align themselves with the magnetic field lines and travel to their location. Along with this, migratory birds may also find their way by creating a mental map of their route using mountains, ah. rivers, etc. Besides this, it is also believed that migratory birds use the location oh. of the sun and stars to find their way and reach the same location. <laughs> ah. huh? Why is bird poop white? Because oh. hmm. they eat white chocolate. <laughs> no. Firstly, it is not the poop that is oh. white. The green or brown part present in the center of the white portion is the actual poop of birds. 
Confused? Mm. The kidneys in humans extract nitrogenous waste like urea from blood and release it in the form of liquid urine. But the kidneys of birds don't produce urine. Instead, they excrete the nitrogenous waste as uric acid. This acid is the white portion. Besides this, humans have two exit points. One to remove urine produced by kidneys, and the other to remove poop produced by intestines. But birds have only one exit point, called cloaca. The poop from intestines, that is the green part, and the uric acid from kidneys are excreted at the same time, thus producing a cocktail of poop and pee. Hmm. 